In this video, I'm going to be doing some experiments with feedback loops. Uh, very similar to the way a guitar feeds back when it's close to an amplifier or a microphone that a singer is using is uh, too loud and is feeding back in the PA system. This will be with different um, elements, though. So in front of me here, I have three elements. I have a piezo mic that I built. This picks up vibrations on the surface of items does not hear anything in the air. It only hears what is vibrating on the surface. I have it connected to an XLR output, which in this case, I'm then putting a little adapter. Second thing I've got here is called a transducer. Um, and this vibrates, but much like what the piezo does for listening, this does for speaking. <laughs> It vibrates whatever surface it's on, and I've soldered this onto an instrument cable so that I can plug this into the output of an amplifier. And then that brings us to this little amplifier that I made. Inside is a simple amplifier circuit that I bought as a kit, and I built it into this little box. So I'm going to plug the transducer into the output of my amplifier. And I'm gonna plug the piezo mic into the input. So what is gonna happen is that this guy is gonna send vibrations out. This guy's gonna listen to those vibrations and send it into the amp back out to the transducer, which it's then gonna pick up here. So it's a bit of a chicken and the egg situation. Is this only taking in the vibrations that this is putting out? Or is this putting out the vibrations that this is taking in over and over and over? Feedback loop. I'm gonna turn the amplifier on and not much is gonna happen yet. Because it's just, you know, the sound of me tapping, it's nothing super exciting. But if I put the piezo mic directly onto the transducer, you start getting some interesting results. Now you can make these results even louder if I take the transducer and put it on top of the amplifier since this is a hollow box. You get a different timbre from the feedback. And now it can put the piezo mic directly on the box as well and the transducer onto the box. And the wooden material and the hollowness of the box creates a completely different soundscape for the feedback to, to, to work through. To work through? Now that's fun, but what happens when you start applying effects? What happens when you try other objects to put these on to? You get some really cool sounding results. You're about to see a montage of, you know, clips of some of the cool sounds I get from these experiments. On Patreon, I'm gonna have the full videos as well as samples that you can download from all these experiments, which can then be chopped up and edited into your own projects. So with that, I'm gonna move to the desk behind me and, and get started. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 